welcome back to this new video. Today I wish to talk about the differences between a condenser enlarger, which is this one, and a diffuser enlarger, which is this other one, further away from me. Specifically, these are the lights of Focomato 1C and the lights of Focomato 1A. What's the difference? Apparently they look identical, but what change is the light diffusion method. What does it mean? The condenser enlargers are also the first one that were born in the history of photography. Because anyway, the history of photography begins with a simple emotion of black and white, and only later many, many, many years later, we will come to color photography. So this means that condenser enlargers were the first one that you needed to have, and so they are dedicated to black and white prints. How do they work? So what a condenser enlar enlarger does is that the inside there is a condenser that condense the light and therefore makes the light hard. This helps us a lot in black and white because black and white photos missing the information of color often do not replicate a real sheen but somehow we are um, abstracting the whole image from reality making it uh, allows me to say poetic. We are gonna work, for example, with geometry gains, or light and shadows, or maybe even, let's think about a portrait. Missing the skin tone from the image, or the color of the eyes, mm, good. Speaking about the eye, for example, uh, removing the color of the eyes, we work only on how deep is that look, forgetting about the idea of Oh, what a blue eyes! So the information to communicate changes. And to do such a thing, we need a strong difference somehow, which is usually given by the contrast. The best black and white photos are those ones that manage to reach the black and white points and then everything in between with a huge range of greys. The photos that appear so really grey, therefore very soft, mm, somehow disturbs us. So condensing the light, we try to make contrast harder and easily black and white. In diffused light instead, uh, diffusion and larger, on the other end, were born for color photography and they are the ones that instead of going not to harden the light with a nice strong condenser, they spread it. For example, thinking about a flash, if you use it alone, it will be a very harsh light. If you use it with a, a diffuser in front, my light is softer, my shadows are more delicated and the whole image is more, let's say, innocent. What the diffuser and larger does is just that. So in color photography, we work with three layers of colors, which are shine, magenta and yellow. If we use a condenser and larger, we will have too strong images. Colors will be too vivid and we will completely lose instead the real tone typical of colors and we want to entrust our photos. To get those lights very delicate, we need to force a diffusion of the lights more tenuous, softer and therefore for this reason another type of light is coming out. It's produced by a different condenser inside which precisely diffuses the light. This type of enlarger, however, can also be used for black and white photography, not just for color photography. The only difference is that precisely our photo will be softer and we will lose a little bit of the typical touch of black and white.
In any case, condenser the light result can be achieved as well, but here we had to work more. It's a process that takes a little, little more time and a little, little more attention. Maybe a trick is in the type of paper that is going to be more contrast or um, uh, in the developer con concentration and therefore we make it slightly less energetic or we can work on agitation. In short, there are several solutions to work with a diffusion enlarger and get a result even equal to a condenser enlarger. It's more tiring, but you can do it. So all of this is to tell you that if you are looking for an enlarger, you can easily work with a diffusion enlarger if you don't know which one to choose. Because you don't really know if starting color prints in the future or you don't want to have many elements. Also because, as you can see, they occupy a significant space. Buy this one, work with it, and if in the future you want to switch to color photography, it's already with you. I hope this video has been helpful to you and also the information has been understandable. That's all. See you in the next video and bye bye.